This is my uh, device I use for uh, timing the magneto. It basically just gives a tone and uh, this LED here doesn't actually go on and off, it kind of dims, gives brighter and dimmer and also the tone, this is a, this is a headphone connector here the tone that comes goes out to the headphone just changes, it doesn't go on and off um, but it's enough to tell when the points are opening and closing it's got a couple of clips this end just go between ground and uh, the point doesn't matter which way around they go um, on off switch and a battery connector and it's basically an NE555 integrated circuit uh, to produce the tone um, and there's a couple of transistors here to boost the signal um, and yeah few resistors a couple of electrolytic capacitors there and uh, just a ceramic capacitor there yeah and it's just on a piece of um, strip board or perf board I like to call it yeah fairly basic circuit but it does seem to work okay uh, I'll put a wiring diagram or circuit diagram up at the end of the video and also insert a bit of this device actually in operation um, I will actually one day get ready to put it in this box I've got here um, rather than have it just hang loose as it is but yeah right got a few minutes to spare I'm uploading a video uh, so I can't do a lot on the PC and it's really hot in the workshop at the moment um, in a bit of a heat wave so I thought I'd get on and uh, put this in a case. This is a Magneto um, time, uh, points timing um, device that I made. A little bleeper, uh, which um, I've been meaning to get in a case for a while. This is the case. It's a little bit on the large size, but it um, doesn't really matter. So I've just been measuring these up, marking up on here, on a bit of masking tape and the size of the hole I need. So I can just go out to uh, get in the, in the bench drill and um, drill those out. Um, the only thing I might do is just extend these wires a little bit. Uh, they were a little bit short when I made that. So I'll probably get the soldering iron in here as well and do that um, yeah so I'll get these drilled out and go from there okay holes drilled just make this one a little bit bigger than uh, I planned I'm going to use this slightly heavier wire here uh, yeah so I've just got to desolder that and put those on in place Right, all in there, just glued the uh, LED in place, uh, couple of old clips on the ends, and uh, I'll just put a sticky pad on the back of the battery so it doesn't rattle around everywhere. So I've got my leads out and uh, the LED there, and that's the output for me um, headphones. And this is on our switch. So switch that on there now. You see that blue LED comes on, and uh, when that shorts out, goes out. Well, I say it goes out. It kind of dims because uh, magneto setup works a little bit different. Uh, to normal points, uh, you still have a little bit of a. Uh, these go through a coil, so you still got a little bit of uh, resistance there. But the important thing is, the the buzzer, 
the sound you get uh, on your headphones from here, the tone actually changes so you can see when you've got a closed and open points. Um, but what I'll do at the end, I'll put a little clip of this in operation um, and a uh, circuit diagram as well, in case you want to make one. But very useful. Get to the points open and closing. And uh, the output actually goes to headphones. So you can actually better hear it. Well, it might go to actually. If I turn that on, well, that will come across on the microphone. I don't know. The microphone is on there. Right, so now, just need to get this to the right position. Oh, there we go. If you can see this LED. Right, now I need to tighten that pinion up. So that's the other end of the magneto pinion, uh, which is on a taper. So you leave that loose, do your adjustment, and just lock the taper up. So that should be statically timed. Um, yeah, so just give that a bit more of a tighten up and uh, check it, make sure it hasn't gone out by me tightening it, and uh, that'll be it.